sorry if my throat is a little scratchy. Um, but I received a request on Instagram to um, do a video on obeying God. And it's just going to be a quick little video. I wanted to talk about it today. And so the scripture that I thought of was, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not want and do not do what I tell you to do? That makes so much sense. <laughs> Why do we follow God if we don't want to obey him? You know, the, the whole beauty of having faith in God is having faith that he will guide us through life and trusting his word and trusting what he says for us to do. So if we love the Lord and we truly want to follow him, then, then we will truly want to obey him. And so the scripture says it plainly, you know, why do you call me Lord? You know, we're going to call on him for times of need and times of trouble. And he wants us to do that. But he also wants us to obey and to listen so that he can guide us through life. And I think there's a lot of um, misconception these days that we can follow God and also do what we want and live the life that we want. And while God does not condemn us, so there's lots of things that I do that I mess up. You know, I mess up all the time, but it's important that when you do mess up, that you make it an effort to not mess up again and pray and repent and really seek him. So if you do sin, then, you know, you don't have to feel like you fall out of relationship with Christ. He still loves you and he still wants a relationship with you. Um, but don't purposefully, you know, claim that you're a Christian and go to church and then live totally opposite the other days of the week. You know, living a life of excellence, you know, how can we claim that we love God, but we get offended at every little thing that our brother or sister in Christ does. Um, you know, we're not walking in love. The second scripture that I thought of was submit yourself, therefore, to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And I like the word submit, submit yourselves. That means your whole, every part of your being. I like to think of my relationship with God as kind of like a self audit. Do you remember when I did a video on prayer um, and how to pray? Check that out if you would like to um, see what we were talking about that day. But in that video, I did a prayer audit and I kind of think of my relationship with God as like a life audit. And I submit everything to God. I submit my desires, um, what I want and my feelings to him because when I do that, I can go to his word and see, okay, are my desires lining up with his? Are my wants lining up with his? So when you submit all of yourself and then make your ways similar to God, then in a sense that is um, obeying God, that's obeying his word. And that helps us to then resist the devil. Um, we can't live a life doing everything that we want and then also expect Satan to leave us alone all the time. If if you're at work and you're gossiping with people at work from Satan, he, he knows, okay, well, you know, gossiping is something that I can tempt her with. So I'm going to gossip, you know, I'm going to put that temptation out there for her. Um, it's the same, it's the same idea. I, f I feel like I'm not making sense, <laughs> but when you submit your ways to God and submit your lifestyle to God, most importantly, you are less likely to fall into temptation. When you surround yourself with the word, then you can also, you know, resist temptation and obey God easier. Now I'm not saying not to hang out with people who are not Christians. I don't believe that at all. Jesus hung out with people who weren't Christians all the time. How are we supposed to tell people who are not Christians about about God if we don't hang out with them? So that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you need to balance. What are you doing more? Are you praying and studying the word um, to the point where you just feel like you know, this that spirit, are you feeding your spirit? I guess what I'm trying to say. What are you feeding? Are you feeding your spirit more or your flesh? Are you, you know, constantly on Instagram? 
Um, or are you reading the word so that your spirit is fed and you're not, you know, looking at the lies of this world? And again, I don't want to sound like an extremist. You know, going on Instagram is not a sin and hanging out with people who are not Christians. There's nothing wrong with that. But you have to make sure that you are feeding your spirit, feed your spirit. And that's why I think studying the word on a regular basis is so vital because it helps us to draw near to God. When we know his word, then we can obey his word. We can't obey his word without first knowing it. And so um, I think that this is a really um, important thing to, to go by. Obeying God won't always be easy. Sometimes, you know, you're the person who's not doing what everyone else is doing. I remember when I was in high school, there was a lot of things everyone was doing, and I definitely did not. And, you know, in a sense, it felt really good, especially now as an adult. I can look back and say, you know, I didn't do, you know, the things that they were doing. So if you are a teenager and you're in that position, if you feel a little left out because you're choosing the way of God rather than the way of the world, that's okay. Believe me, that'll pay off in the end. Um, or even if you're not, even if you're, you know, an adult and you're feeling like that, it's better to obey God and not have that sense of, you know, feeling like, you, you know, you let God down, even though at the end of the day, that's a whole different video. You know, we don't let God down. God's love doesn't go anywhere. You know, we are the ones who condemn ourselves. God doesn't condemn. He convicts. Um, so I guess, you know, that feeling of conviction, it feels good every time you pass that test of faith and move forward with the word of God, knowing that, you know, you did your best and that you followed God's word rather than falling temptation and falling into sin. Submit yourselves, submit your lives, um, study his word and draw near to him. And like I said, it doesn't mean that you have to be perfect every single day, but um, it does mean that we get to learn a little bit more about him and his love for us every day through his word. So I hope this video was helpful. Please liked it. Please like it if you liked it. Um, and if you're still here, you might as well subscribe, share this video. It helps for you to, um, to share my video with other people in the algorithm. I post a new Bible study video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I can't wait to study the Bible with you again. Bye.